What's good with you guys? It's man, Chef from Off the Dome. Back again for another video. And today we're talking about 6 ix big return. And the new question I have is 6 9 basically the industry's biggest superstar. At this point, no, I'm not going to say he's going to be the biggest superstar of all time. No, I'm not going to say this is even going to last more than a year or two. However, I did say we got out of prison. He will have a career. And I didn't expect it to be to the, I knew the initial height would be big. But I didn't think that he would release a single. Like, I okay, the coronavirus happened at the right time, yes. He got out of jail early. But the dude's music, this is way bigger than anyone projected. A lot of people said that he would still be big or he would still have a fan base, but there would still be a lot of people that dissed him because he ratted. He is getting some flack, and he did have to switch address, I believe, two times already. So it is a dangerous life he's living, but however... Gooba by 6ix9ine has now, I think, surpassed 120 million views on YouTube and is one of the fastest growing singles in the United States. It broke Eminem's record, now it's broke Taylor Swift, Drake's record, Adele's record for most viewed video within a five day period. That doesn't happen much when you are basically a guy that has all odds against you and the industry is basically silenced you. 6ix9ine, to his credit, has no radio promotion, really doesn't have any Apple Music or Amazon bundle deal promotion. No one's promoting him, but he's his biggest promoter. And I think that's why 10,000 Projects in Universal of Columbia, I mean, Carolina, which distributes through 10,000 Projects. I think that's why Universal and 10,000 Projects put up that money to 6 9 They knew the guy would grind hard. They knew the guy would promote himself. They knew the guy would be bigger than ever when he got out of jail. Um... Gooba as a song, I think this shit is fire. I mean, I'll be honest, 6 9 is not a great quality artist, like, lyricism-wise, but just the vibe, the beats, and the feels from his music, it gets you hyped. The stuff does make you laugh. He's an entertaining character. It's sad that he has to do, do his life this way to get attention, but however, that's what celebrities are, basically justice in the court. So he's doing his job. He's making everybody forget about the quarantine. He's making people laugh, smile, and what have you. And I think that's going to be 6 9s benefit in the long run. Gooba obviously will debut number one probably across the world next week. United States for sure, Canada for sure. Will it be a long-term single that does well? I don't know because it will have no radio push, no screaming playlist push, nothing like that, like a traditional song like Tussie Slide or um, The Weeknd's Blind Lights, Roddy Rich's The Box Hat. But for 6 9 this is a huge accomplishment to have a number one single after going to jail for a year. But remember, I want to give everybody this. Before he went to jail... His star was not falling. His album would have probably did 100k or better if he would have been out of jail, but they released it when he went to jail. And they still did 78k first week. And there was still a dispute between him and Travis Scott between who went number one. It went number one to Canada. The album became platinum within six months. So 6ix9ine did sell while he's in prison. And Fifi became an eight times platinum single. It's close to being diamond. And imagine how big he's going to brag when the single becomes diamond, which it inevitably will. Fifi, however, well, although. Fifi only peaked at number three. Y'all yeah, remember that was the highest streamed and one of the most sold songs of 2018. And still to this day, it's probably one of the biggest hits of that year that they one of the most memorable parts of that year. Gooba, I think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna have a screaming record. I think the screams for this will probably beat Drake's record of God's plan first week. It won't be Old Town Rose first week sales or um screaming records when it became number one, but the YouTube views alone show that. This single is here to stay, and off of YouTube screams, a small amount of sales, and Spotify, Apple Music playlist screams, I think 6 9 single Google would do better than everyone projected. And make sure you comment, comment section, let me know what you think about 6 9 Do you think that he will stay around after this year? Do you think this is just a phase? I personally think this is not a phase. I think 6 9 is here as the pillar of hip-hop at this point. He may not be around five years from now as big as he is, but he still will have a legacy that no one can doubt. When it comes down to it, 20 years from now, when we look back at hip-hop, we have to say for a brief period of time from late 2017 to probably early 2023, there was a rapper named 6 9 that pretty much had the whole world talking about him at once. And you can't, he's like a dumpster fire. You can't stop looking at it. You want to know who started it. That's what 6 9 is. He's a cult of personality. Whether you think he's an asshole or not, that's up for debate. Anyway, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, it's your man, Chef from Off the Dome, giving you quality content every single day. I'm signing out. Peace.